Hey there everyone, welcome to another, another video for the ICOM ICR20 receiver and this is part 2 of the IC recorder and this part 2 we will examine the different options available for the IC recorder um, play speed we'll also look at the uh, what's called record remote which means that the squelch when the squelch is activated the uh, audio, the recording stops uh, where to set the quality of the audio that you're listening to and also uh, how to erase a track or all tracks so once again all these features are available at the bottom row especially the two buttons on the right with the play and the stop and the record first thing you might want to actually set up is the record quality so you just go and press and hold record and when it beeps at the top you'll have three choices here so you have quality, record remote and all delete so what you can do for quality is actually the right dial button to make sure your little arrows at quality a quick press on record and here you've got your settings long time, normal and fine Long time is what will give you about 240 minutes of uh, recording, but will have a trade off in the fact that it will have less audio quality. I use normal all of the time. Um, I think it's perfect for most radio listening, and we got to keep in mind that we're not recording music here, we're recording communications from UHF VHF range um, so most of the time they are in a rather average quality anyway so I think the normal is not bad gives you a little trade-off here uh, what it does is it's slightly better in audio quality than the long time but you will have less time of recording but you still have a lot um, there's no details on to what amount of time each setting gives out actually so on the instruction manual they do say that the normal setting is about 130 minutes which means it's about half the 260 minute range of the normal setting the long time setting and a fine setting is the best quality it gives you about an hour 65 minutes of audio so gives you an idea long times 260 minutes normal 130 minutes and fine is um, 65 minutes that's very approximate I must say once you've set the option with the uh, right dial button of course you just press quickly the record key and there you are back at the menu and if you got anything, nothing else to do, you can press the dual watch to just get out of the menu. Now, if you want the radio, because this is probably the feature of the recorder, is that it can record the audio when it's present, but when there's nothing to listen to, it will actually stop on its own. This is what is called record remote. Record remote means that you can leave your radio on for six hours if you want on a frequency where you know there's almost nothing but there's some random communications just leave it on the record mount put the squelch on and when you come back six hours later you got a nice big f recording file there with all communications with no empty spaces so if you don't want to have a recorder um, actually record empty noise nothing at all uh, you preferably will put the record uh, on I don't know why they actually gave us a possibility to put it off because I don't see why anyone would just want to have empty recording time so basically what you want to do is just go press and hold record and there you've got record remote you quick press on record 
you got it on or off. By default, when you buy the radio, it's off. I've put it on, I've never switched it back again because it is nice to have the radio stop recording when the squelch is on. So, what it means is when you're on a communications that is intermittent and that your squelch actually will activate so you don't hear the hiss, well, it just stops recording until there's some audio present on the channel. So you can put it on a channel that has only few communications and you come back later and you got that nice file that has all the communications that happened in an hour or two hour. So it's a very, very useful feature if you want to you know, have more, an idea of what they say on a certain frequency, just let it leave it there. Make sure your squelch is on that when your radio doesn't have any comms that the squelch activates so there's no audio. And, uh, you know, instead of listening three hours for maybe 15 minutes of uh, communications, you'll actually have the full 15 minutes of communications right there in your recorder. So that's very, very nice. So I leave it turned on all the time because it's pretty cool. Uh, another feature that you might want to know is how do I delete all my recordings? Well, you just press and hold the record button. In the menu, you've got all delete. If you just press all delete, it will ask you yes or no. Keep in mind, if you say yes, you've lost all your recordings. So you just keep in mind, very important. And uh, one of the other features that you might um, want, because sometimes there's lots of chit chat and you kind of want the chit chat to go a little faster, so that you, uh, you know, if you got a one hour of recording, you might want it to pass much faster, because you want to hear something specific maybe. When you play, the audio file recorded in the radio you can actually change its speed so for example if you press and hold the play button at the top here you've got play speed play speed can be half speed or it can be 1.5 times the speed so to give you an, an idea I'll put at 0.5 quick press and let's listen to my weather broadcast that uh, I, I recorded uh, on the part one. So this is what it sounds like. If I put it, now I press and hold the play button, I put it at 1.5, that's one and a half times, quick press, one and a half times the speed. I listen to the same file. Sounds like uh, the chipmunks, but it does <laughs> does work and lets you uh, kind of understand more, um, you know, go faster in your your, your your communication. So if you want to listen but you want it to pass quickly, you can uh, put it in fast mode. The slow mode, um, the only thing I can see is that maybe there's a part of something you didn't quite understand because it's too fast. But unfortunately, it also degrades the audio in, in search of a bizarre voice. So you might not actually understand that well either. But it's interesting to know that you have that feature available by pressing and holding the play button. With the right dial button, you just choose with the little arrow here what speed you want. And once it's chosen, quick press. So this was part two showing you the options available for the IC recorder. One last thing about it, yes, you can extract the audio and put it in a computer. That will be uh, one of the videos that I'll put on uh, quite soon. So you'll be able to understand how do I extract the audio from my radio and uh, just you know use it on my computer so if you enjoyed these videos click the subscribe button if you have any comments questions or requests let us know and hope you enjoyed this uh, these videos on how to use the icom icr 20 
communications receiver. Thanks for watching. 73s.